Hello, my name is Balaji Venkatraman, and I'm the Director of Product Management for HP Network Management Center. And my name is Mark Pinsky. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for HP's Network Management Solutions. Today, we're going to talk about the industry-leading fault and event management product, Network Node Manager I, or commonly known as NNMI. When we talk about Network Node Manager, we usually use the term Comprehensive Network Management Solution. So Mark, can you tell us what comprehensive means, and more importantly, how does it benefit our customers? Sure, Balaji. For most businesses, networks are mission-critical assets. They are the foundation on which an enterprise depends upon to create and deliver value to their customers. The networks themselves are evolving in terms of scale and complexity, especially with the advent of virtualization and migration to hybrid cloud computing environments. At the same time, there is a push by organizations to do a lot more with a lot less. As you know, there are a lot of tools out there which just fill up the management consoles with an overwhelming amount of network events. They provide very little, useful, actionable incidents for operators to take action on. I have heard network managers say many times that these types of events are basically noise, keeping them from seeing the true network issues. So by comprehensive, I mean that NNMI is a network monitoring solution comprised of a single pane of glass which provides a cohesive, unified console for the NOC where all types of network issues are reported, intelligently correlated, and finally diagnosed. What even makes NNMI even more comprehensive is a set of add-on components called smart plugins, or SPIs for short. They assist users at monitoring a network's performance as well as monitoring a wide variety of other network services such as MPLS, clouds, multicast, IP telephony implementations, just to name a few. Each of these SPIs is extremely modular and can be added at any time as seamless integrations to NNMI. NNMI, together with the SPIs, have made HP a leader in the network management space for over 20 years. Thank you. Can you talk a little bit more specifically about some of the features in NNMI that help our customers? Again, some ne network issues introduce problems that directly impact mission-critical business applications and processes due to some unknown anomaly. These anomalies typically fall into multiple categories, which may include network hardware failures, network performance issues, a network service issue, or some combination of all of these. Being able to rapidly identify network failures and performance or service instabilities is a key value proposition for NNMI. Is there a way you can show me some of these cool features that you keep talking about? So what I've done uh, today, Balaji, is I've prepared a small demo for us. So we'll actually get it to take a look at the console firsthand and really see, get under the hood and see what NNMI really looks like. Very good. So Balaji, here's the main console for Network Node Manager. We've done a lot of discussions around Network Node Manager. Now we're really going to get under the hood and take a look at uh, the power and some of the features that NNMI has to offer all of us. So what we're looking at here is a, what we call a topology map in Network Node Manager. Now these topology maps can be highly customized. Uh, a lot of companies are going to want to design their own topology maps based upon the type of geography uh, that they're spread across or basically that topology could be simply a campus uh, with several buildings in it. So we have complete control basically of defining our topology. In this case for this demo, uh, our topology map of the world basically consists of several different sites, Fort Collins, Colorado, the United Kingdom, and Australia, that basically contain different types of network topologies. Now I want to bring one key thing to your attention is that in the upper right of this console we see that we're logged in as the administrator and that's key because with Network Node Manager we have the ability to log in with different user roles and responsibilities. So I might log in for example as a different user and I would not have access to the complete topology of my particular company. I may only be allowed to see a portion of the topology uh, and only work with a portion of the topology that you see here. So in this case, I can see all of the topology. So one of the things we mentioned is that HP Network Node Manager has powerful discovery features. So uh, what I want to guide your attention to is the inventory. So the first thing that Network N N Node Manager does for you is it utilizes a very um, leading edge uh, type of discovery capability set and basically it can go out and it can discover just about anything you direct Network Node Manager to discover. 
So basically all you simply do is after you install the product is apply, apply a couple of discovery filters and you literally tell Network Node Manager what you want to discover. In this case, when I click on nodes, Network Node Manager provides me with a complete list of all the nodes that have been discovered by NNMI. And again, this is pretty cool because this list that we're looking at right here, right here has a whole lot of detail in it, uh, basically down to the very, very specifics for each of these devices. Uh, again, keep in mind that Network Node Manager is a very, very powerful heterogeneous uh, monitoring and management system, which means that it can, it can just about discover any uh, manufacturer's node, any particular type of device. Doesn't have to be all routers and switches. We can discover firewalls, load balancers, and even servers. So it all depends on what you want to direct Network Node Manager to discover and manage. Network Node Manager is also uh, extremely scalable. We can manage tens of thousands of nodes, so that means you can discover tens of thousands of nodes with Network Node Manager and literally manage millions of interfaces from a single instance of Network Node Manager. So you'll see on the inventory screen here that we have our nodes in front of us, and again, I, can, I have a full set of reporting I can do against these nodes. I can search and filter these nodes, but you'll also note that I have uh, another selection here called interfaces. So these are all of the interfaces for all of the devices that we've discovered in our particular network. So let's go back to topology maps again because I want to center in on a particular uh, topology map and we're going to look at Australia in this case. So what we see here is a wide variety of nodes for Australia. Uh, these were placed on this particular map. Again, users have complete flexibility of, of what they want to discover how they want to place them on the map, and really how they want to represent all of these topology items to network operators. Uh, one of the key things and one of the true powerful capabilities of Network Node Manager is the ability of collecting an intense uh, and complete set of information relative to this node. So you can see here that I've chosen the Alice Springs node. Um, I can either double click it or I can simply open up that node and basically this gives me all of the detail that I as a network operator or ne network administrator would ever want to see. Uh, you never want to have network operators have to log into a device uh, to analyze or to retrieve certain pieces of information. You want your tool set to do it. So this is a complete repository of all that information. So I want to bring your attention to at the Alice Springs node again. And you'll notice here that we have a lot of standard information about that device, system contact information location, but notice also that we can list all of the interfaces on that device. We can, we can, uh, we can manage um, uh, uh, any, any interface that's on that device, or there may be interfaces that we're not interested in, we can tell Network Node Manager that, hey, we don't really need you to manage those interfaces. You'll notice, too, that we dive very, very deep into devices. So in this instance, we're looking at all the cards that make up the device. These are basically discrete cards that fit into switches and routers. We'll discover those. We'll give you the model name, the type, and a whole wealth of information. But the key thing is, is that we're going to monitor the health and availability of these cards, just like we do the devices themselves or the interfaces. You'll also note that we have a wide variety of other pieces of information as well. Um, in this case right here, you'll see another, uh, another tab here called Router Redundancy. If this particular device uh, participated uh, in HSRP, Cisco's High Speed Routing, uh, Hot Standby Routing Protocol, we would actually see what the active and passive routers look like here. So we are going to collect every piece of information we can about this device. Now, we started out a little bit earlier talking about the power and of capability in terms of uh, network node manager really allowing you to monitor performance and such of your network. So we're going to go back to our Australia map here and I'm going to pick on one of my devices right here and we're going to select this device again and right now uh, basically at my fingertips if I right mouse click that device you can see that I have a whole host of other things that I can do with this device but you'll notice down here is that we have uh, the HNM, HN, uh, NNMI iSpy for performance uh, uh, listed so basically what we can do is we can do a ton of performance troubleshooting uh, around that particular device so that device is loading up right now and we get this particular type of screen. Now remember that uh, we do have another reporting engine, but again, this, this particularly is an operational tool, which means that I'm going to basically manage the operational 
fault conditions and performance conditions of my, my network through this tool. So, so basically, an operator can pull up this particular uh, pane of glass and immediately start looking at uh, that device from a performance perspective. So what we have here is we have a default set of graphs, if you will, relative to that device. You can see that I can look at that in instantly, look at the device's CPU and memory utilization. And I can look at the device's CPU and mem memory exception reports as well. But also, also note here that if I actually click on this device, I can actually select any interface at my fingertips and basically gain visibility into all the metrics that I've been collecting relative to that interface. So you'll notice here under the metric selection, I have just about every metric possible uh, I have collected from that particular device. Now I really want to show you how easy this is to use. And again, the, the entire Network Node Manager platform has been d designed with ease of use in mind. If I'm interested, and I particularly am interested when I'm trying to troubleshoot a problem, is, for example, availability average. Um, or I'm, what I might want to do is I might want to go down here, and we're going, to, we're going to select, and you can see there's a lot of information, to again, to help us slice and dice what is actually going on in the environment. But you'll notice several key metrics that I like to pick on uh, quite a bit, and that's average utilization. So I, all I do is grab that metric, deposit it over here in my window, and immediately I have access to, and I can go back in history, I have access to the average utilization of that particular interface over time. If I want to look at the maximum utilization, I drag that guy over, and now I'm looking at the maximum utilization of the interface. And then I can also look at the minimum utilization. So you can see from an operational performance perspective, this particular environment right here uh, it basically exposes every performance uh, uh, environment and parameter that you could possibly think of to help you troubleshoot and isolate problems. So, Mark, that was fantastic. That's exactly why we call it a comprehensive network management solution. I saw discovery, uh, I saw the hierarchical topology map, and the ability to drill down into a device and look at all the other fault and performance attributes associated to the particular node. So now, can you show me a little bit about how you can use NNMI to do fault isolation and talk a little bit about the value and the benefit of that to the customer? Absolutely, Balaji. We'll get right into that. I want to draw your attention to the incident management workspace that we have over here on the left-hand side. And you'll notice that under incident management, we have something called key incidents. And basically, key incidents are uh, the incidents that Network Node Manager produces from literally thousands of events that could be cascading into Network Node Manager. So Network Node Manager has a powerful feature um, called the Correlation Engine, uh, adva the Advanced Causal Engine, to be specific. And this causal engine has the ability to analyze thousands upon thousands of instantaneous events coming in from the network. As it analyzes those events, it might do some things like uh, it might go out and do some directed instance polling, which means it does not jump to conclusions in trying to determine what's wrong with your network. So what it does, it runs all of these events through a highly sophisticated causal engine. It performs causal analysis, and then it produces a root cause-based incident, uh, shielding the operator from all those nonsensical events that come in over the, uh, over the network. So what this really tells me is that NNMI is able to leverage the topology map and use that to do root cause analysis so that we are able to take this large volume of network events and analyze it and create these root cause incidents that an operator can use to quickly identify where the problem is and then solve it so that they reduce the time to resolution. Is Absolutely. that correct? That is correct, Balaji. Let me add a couple of more items to that that I think that we're, is worth mentioning here. Uh, number one is that uh, you hit it right on the head. Uh, Network Node Manager provides for a hyper-accurate layer two topology database. And what I mean by that is as NNM discovers your network, it builds this layer two topology database. As things change in the network, Network Node Manager will see that through events, 
um, and through uh, system type based events coming in over the network and it will go out and it will uh, determine again through isolated polling exactly what's going on in the network so again it doesn't jump to conclusions telling you what happened in your network basically what it does is it analyzes the events goes out and polls your network again and comes back with a high quality root cause based incident thank you for that great overview of NNMI so with a powerful discovery and an inventory management capability and the ability to correlate fault, performance, and service metric in a single pane of glass. No wonder HP NNMI is the industry-leading fault and event management software. I want you to download the free version of NNMI and try it out in your network. Thank you.